good morning. Uh, my name is Bill Cunningham, and I'm the federal enrolled candidate in Burnaby Douglas. Good morning. My name is Brenda Long, and I am the liberal candidate in Fleetwood Port Kells in Surrey. Uh, we know this morning that Stephen Harper is uh, trapped inside a bubble here in British Columbia, uh, and we thought we'd take this opportunity uh, to remind people what happened last time, uh, last election, when Stephen Harper flew into British Columbia. He made a bunch of splashy promises to the people of this province. The Conservative Party put out a tailor-made British Columbia platform. It was filled to the brim with explicit, specific promises for British Columbia about things like democratic renewal, government accountability, and the softwood lumber dispute. It's been 31 months since Stephen Harper became Prime Minister of Canada, and he says he's ready to be held to account. He called an election a full year before he was supposed to, under his own law, breaking one of his own central campaign promises in the process. A look back at what Stephen Harper promised British Columbia in his 2006 platform reveals that he is a lot better at making promises than he is at keeping them. Our audit of their BC platform shows conclusively that Stephen Harper is a promise breaker and he cannot be taken at his word. In this election, Stephen Harper will make a bunch more promises, but I want British Columbians to know that he can't be trusted to keep them. Whenever an issue is critical to British Columbia, Stephen Harper thumbed his nose at our province. Remember when his budget forgot that British Columbia was even on the map of Canada? Remember when he broke his promise not to tax income trusts? Remember when his members of parliament told us the Kelowna Accord would be honoured? Clearly, British Columbia issues mean nothing to Stephen Harper. British Columbians deserve a government that cares about what matters to them and delivers on their promises. Our audit of the 2006 Tory BC platform is available online at www.promisebreakers.ca. You know, it only took 31 months for Stephen Harper to prove that he doesn't deserve British Columbians' trust. He may be a skilled campaigner, but he's definitely a failed Prime Minister. And British Columbians deserve better. And to add to uh, that great list that uh, Bill just mentioned, I have a few more to add myself. Stephen Harper promised to stand up to the United States on softwood, but instead he sold us out. Stephen Harper promised more transparency and accountability in government. Instead, he gave us the most secretive government in Canadian history, and he called us an election to keep Parliament from exposing ethical misconduct. Stephen Harper promised not to appoint senators, but instead he appointed one on his first day as Prime Minister. And Stephen Harper promised, and I quote, not to call snap elections for short-term political advantage. And here we all are. But perhaps what is most astounding of it all is that just yesterday while campaigning in Quebec, Stephen Harper told Canadians that his government has kept all of their promises. Today, Mr. Harper arrives in BC, and he should be held to account for the promises he made to British Columbians in the last election. BC took him at his word and sent 17 Conservatives to Ottawa. If he cared about BC, or about keeping those seats, he would have kept his word to us, but instead, he broke his word. I'll bet you he never even looked at his own platform since taking office. A full matter-of-fact audit of the Conservatives' 2006 BC platform can be found at www.promisebreakers.ca. British Columbians deserve a government that doesn't care more about its polls than its promises. British Columbians deserve a Prime Minister, not a Promise Breaker. And British Columbians deserve better than the Harper Conservatives. www.promisebreakers.ca The only thing consistent about Stephen Harper, he started his mandate as Prime Minister by breaking a promise on appointed senators. It's fitting that he ended his mandate by breaking a promise on fixed election dates. It's time for British Columbians to hold him to account. <laughs>